Buke Super Hits 106, it's the holidays, and joining me from It's a Wonderful Life is Zuzu Bailey herself, Carolyn Grimes. Good morning, Carolyn. How are you? Well, I'm just doing great. Beautiful, beautiful season for a wonderful life. Boy, it certainly is, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate you taking time to talk to me, and we want to talk about something that you did that just came out towards the end of October. It's a brand new book called Zuzu's Petals, A Dream of It's a Wonderful Life. What what inspired you to do this? Well, I've always I always thought that Zuzu, as a child, should have a children's book and uh, tell her own story about how It's a Wonderful Life sort of evolved. And so that's what we did. We I got a really good illustrator, and so we wrote, wrote the story of Zuzu, and she's very much excited because, you know, she won that prize at school. She won a rose, and that was very special to her. And she brings it home, and she gets sick. And the rose, it's a story of why she wrote an article and she won this rose because she did such a good job from her teacher. She won this. And so she she comes home and, and of course she gets sick and, and her daddy comes and talks to her and then he, he leaves. Well, her sister comes running into the bedroom and she says, we have to pray for daddy. He's in trouble. We have to pray for him. And he left. So I start praying and then I go to sleep. I fall asleep and I have a dream and I look for my daddy. And in that process, I learn about having faith and about helping other people. And so it's kind of, an, it's a wonderful life story within it's a wonderful life story. And in the end, of course, I see Clarence at the back of the room, but I don't know who he is. And then the bell rings and I say my line and Clarence walks away in the snow and you see his footsteps. And then all of a sudden you don't see his footsteps, but you see his shadow with his wings. And that's, you know, one of the really neat things about the book is that, as you say, it parallels the story only from Zuzu's perspective. It's the story being told by Zuzu if she were, as she's living her life outside of what's happening and her dream. And it's it's so beautifully illustrated. It's a hardcover book. Now, you can purchase these books from Carolyn herself. And that's, your website is what, Carolyn? Zuzu.net. Z-U-Z-U. Net. Pretty simple, pretty easy to remember. And <laughs> and you yes. can even purchase autograph copies, which Carolyn was generous enough to send us. So the ones I'm going to give away are going to be autographed also. Think of a wonderful holiday gift that has so much tradition tied to it. A book about Zuzu's petals and autographed by Zuzu herself. I enjoyed the book very much. Be a wonderful stocking stuffer for any children. In fact, it'd be a great book for any adult. It's just really a very neat uh, children's book really but could be for anybody right that's right it could be <laughs> and zuzu.net by the way if you go to that website there's lots of other things there carolyn has uh cookbooks she has uh ornaments oh, ornaments yeah, yeah. all kinds <laughs> of neat like stuff it. were you just in california you were in la for no, this is the 70th year the 70th anniversary of frank capra's it's a wonderful life so there's a lot of celebrations going on around the country right right there is uh-huh. but there was a special one in california at at the Academy, the Motion Picture Academy, and they celebrated the 70th anniversary. It was sold out, and it was absolutely beautiful. The three Bailey kids were reunited, and once again, uh, we had a little panel and talked about the making of the film. And Tom Capra was there, who was Frank Capra's son. Wow, and wonderful. Frank Capra was a director. Wonderful. The thing that we always mention, and the amazing part of it, is that the movie was not that big of a success when it first came out. It was after it got released on television that it really took off, right? Right. It's a holiday tradition. Every year, I certainly watch it every year. I have for years. One of my favorite movies, It's a Wonderful Life, 70 years old this year, and Carolyn Zuzu Grimes is the one who says in the movie, Daddy, teacher says, Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. <laughs> That's just amazing to hear you say that after all these years. And I know you will love this book if you purchase it from Zuzu.net. It's called Zuzu's Petals, and you can even get it autographed. What a wonderful gift it'll be for any fan of that movie. And after all, who is not a fan of that movie? It's just a great, great movie. Uh, Carolyn, thanks so much for spending some time with me this morning. I know you're busy. You must be in, in need everywhere you go. People are wanting to talk to you, and I just really appreciate you taking a couple minutes to say hello to all of our friends here in the Midwest.
podcast. Well, thank you so much, Dick. I, I'm, uh, I enjoy uh, talking to the people when I meet them, and I, I love the media because I can talk about the film and the messages and how the movie has helped so many people and continues to do so. It, it just gets more popular, and it, it reaches more people every year, and I'm so thankful and grateful to be a part of this wonderful, wonderful film. What a wonderful <laughs> legacy. Carolyn, very Merry Christmas to you, and of course, our sincere wishes for a wonderful life. Thank you so much.